hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to tell you guys i'm going to be showing you how i make 5000 naira every day by selling people's goods and products and also by referring people who need other people's services i was acting as an agent as a middleman and also as a drop shipper so i'm going to be revealing to you how i make a minimum of 5000 naira every day without a shop without any investment without any capital from the comfort of my home by using just my phone just a smartphone or a laptop i'm going to share with you the secret on how i made 5000 naira every day from the comfort of my home so let's move into it so to begin i created an instagram account and also a facebook business page so when i created the instagram account i named the book the page everything store it's a very popular name it's not a like a narrow name it's just a simple name that people can remember number one and also it's also the name that will be able to cover the kind of business i want to do it's not specific i didn't say kitchen store or medicine store i just said everything store that way i can be able to advertise as many products as i want to advertise on that instagram page and also i can be able to do whatever i want to do on that facebook page so as i said everything store i then after creating the page i optimized the page i put my contacts address contact number like a whatsapp number the time that the store is open you remember it's an online store a facebook page and an instagram page both of them are linked together and they are both connected to one whatsapp number everything on my phone without any shop without any investment and it was working out perfectly so let's move to the next creating the facebook page and instagram accounts and also optimizing it i put the whatsapp number put all the details edited it and the rest now it's time to source for products that i want to sell on that facebook page remember all i'm using is just my phone and an internet connection and doing this from the comfort of my home no capital needed no investment needed now after creating the facebook and the instagram page next i'm going to source for goods and services from people who have it so i went to different i checked different online vendors and some local shops around me i checked the prices of these products ranging from fashion items shoes bags necklaces earrings even as far as human hair i searched for this product and then i was posting them on my page on because the facebook page and the instagram page are linked together i create i just went ahead to post them on my page and i started getting customers people who needed who needed it were contacting me to buy what I advertise on my page. So, as I was getting customers, I was getting clients, and they would ask me, how much is this? How much is the last price? Are you not giving us discounts? I'll say, okay, I'll make sure, even though I'm giving discounts, it won't be to my own detriment. It won't be to my own loss. If a bag is 4,000 Naira from the main seller, and I'm selling it for 6,000 Naira, if they ask for discounts, I can go ahead to remove 200 naira 500 naira and i'm still going to get my own profits so that is how it was working for me and it was working very well so when they were asking me this is it and they will say okay can you deliver i will say okay all i have to do is give to dispatch whether the clients or the customers will pay for delivery and in a situation whereby they don't want to pay for delivery they want to pick it up all you have to do is give them the address of the seller for them to pick it up you see how easy how easy it is you don't have to crack your head you don't even have to do any strenuous work or major work or stressful work all you have to do is contact the seller and the buyer just connect them together if you are the middleman 
and in a situation where the buyer wants it delivered, all you have to do is get the address of the buyer and forward it to the seller. Very easy. Collect the address of the buyer, okay, forward it to the seller, including the seller will pay for delivery, and then they deliver the product, and you get your money, you get your commission, 1,000 Naira commission, 5,000 Naira, um, 1,500 Naira commission. So imagine you get like five sales a day. You're making one one thousand naira times five. One thousand naira times five. That is five thousand naira. So that's was how I ended up making a minimum of five thousand naira a day from the comfort of my home, using just my phone and internet connection. So that was how I was able to make over five thousand naira every day and one thing i did and i want you to do is to stay consistent i'll try my best to post nothing less than 10 different products every day 10 different products different kind of products household items kitchen items even furniture as well so i made sure to post these products every day furniture, household items, fashion items, different kind of items that I can easily send to a buyer, to a customer that is easily sendable and the transaction will be so smooth. And I also make sure to post affordable items, not like hiking the price or making putting too much profit on it so that the buyer can easily and comfortably buy it because it is affordable. So that was how I was doing it and I'm still doing it. I just post the frame for products and I was able to make, I am still able to make over 5,000 Naira every day without anything, without having a own shop of my own and in, no capital, no investment, just internet connection and a smartphone. So I was able to make 5,000 Naira every day. Now let's move to the next one. For this next, for this next idea on how I make 5,000 Naira every day without having a shop, a business, just on the internet, I, what I did on another Facebook and Instagram page, I was acting as a recruitment agency. I was working as a recruitment agency. I set up the page in a professional way. I'm going to show you how to set up your Facebook and your Instagram page in a professional way. So I set it up as in a professional way and I was the recruitment agency. Now, how does this work? The thing work is that um, I do just choose any name for you, but I choose a kind of name. I'm not going to put the name here because it's just for a particular location in Nigeria, just a location around me. Because this one requires you meeting some, the person you are recruiting it requires you meeting them for interview and if you don't want to meet them physically for an interview you can set up a virtual interview where you ask them questions they send your CV to your their CV to your email you ask questions you ask about your experience and in some cases they have to send you like a five minutes or ten minutes video of how they do a certain whatever it is you are Whatever tax you are giving them, if it's a tailor, you can tell them to sew this. If it's a teacher, you can give them a problem to solve. If it is a mechanic or engineer, so you are recruit, you are acting as a, you are working as a recruitment agency. And some companies who need employees, empl or yeah, some companies who need employees or some services, they will contact you, the recruitment agency, to get them someone to do the job for them so you're acting as an agent you're acting as a middleman and you're getting your commission by doing that so you're acting as a recruitment agency you don't need no capital you can do it from the comfort of your home all you need to do is be in touch with the companies out will be needing services and employees and then you, you source for these employees you interview them you already know what they want you the companies already tell you the requirements that they need 
the qualification that they need from these employees so you, all you need to do is post a vacancy online and when people apply for that vacancy you then interview them and direct these employees to the companies that's going to employ them so this is how it works being a recruitment agent you just have to be sourcing for employees and other services for these companies that will be needing their services and their expertise as well as a recruitment agent there are some things you have to take into consideration especially security accountability from these people you are employing because sometimes when you employ the wrong people the companies that you are working for will in turn blame it on you so sometimes you need guarantor tell them to bring a guarantor or two guarantors number one you need their passports or id card number two and they need to sign on that taken with the police that is the only way they can work so you have to put all this in check this may require just little capital but in some cases it doesn't even require any capital so yeah just make sure to employ the right people interview them the proper way and get everything right before sending them to these companies that will be needing their services so you can decide to register the company but for a start you just create your facebook and your instagram page even twitter page as well your linkedin everything connecting every social media from just for business promotion business advertising you can even decide to run as if you want to spend a little amount of money so when you do this you get your commission and sometimes this commission is high sometimes it comes monthly maybe you get a certain percentage from these employees salaries or you just charge them up front just maybe one time maybe just like two thousand naira five thousand naira ten thousand naira depending on the kind of stress you are going to be involved with and also the companies will also give you a commission of course they will have to pay you before contacting you for this job so as they contact you you give them what's just charging them and then you in turn look for these employees for this company so it is very easy very easy and it is not easy at the same time but you just have to stay determined if you really 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 want to set up this agency company if you really want to set this up you have to stay determined it is a lucrative business and you can even make as high as 50,000 naira every week yes because if if you are getting five thousand or ten thousand naira from employing one person and this and you have a lot of companies you are doing that for you are going to make a lot of money and you are going to be able to fund that desired business of your choice thank you so much for watching we have come to the end of this video i hope you learned one or two we are all about making money online offline in nigeria and all over the world thank you for watching don't forget to like to share to subscribe i'm going to see you on my next video